There are two ways to add radios to motor turbo radio management. The first and most obvious method is to add serial numbers and read the code plug via USB or Wi-Fi. To do this, click on the plus button to add an entry and enter the serial number. The other fields are optional, but the serial number is compulsory. Now click OK. The serial number is now added to the database. Next, you'll need to schedule a read job. You can either right button click on the added serial numbers or select the newly added radios and click on the orange clock button. Select read, generate configuration, apply to radio and USB stroke Wi-Fi. Leave the rest of the selections as they are then click OK. I need to point out that the device programmer on the PC to which the radio is attached must have USB ticked in its settings. The device programmer must also be able to connect to the radio management server. As soon as the device programmer sees the radio, it will be read. Note that you only need to generate a configuration for the first radio. Other radios of the same model and setup can simply be added and the configuration from the first radio applied to them. Once read, radio management will create a configuration that is associated with the radio you've just read. This configuration can be edited and any changes you make there will be applied to all the radios that share the same configuration. Adding additional radios of the same model only requires you to add their serial number. To apply the same configuration to these radios you can right button click and choose select configuration. But before you are able to do that you need to select a matching MVO. The MVO is a piece of data that tells radio management about the radio model. Before writing the radio, make sure that the radio ID and alias are unique, since this gets copied from the first radio's MVO. Before writing a radio, it makes sense to right button click on that radio and select Analyze. Radio management will then evaluate the configuration and check for any errors. Radio management allows you to import .ctb and .ctb2 code plugs as well as .xpba files created in another radio management installation. To import a code plug, click on the dot 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 button in radio view and select import. Then choose the code plug you wish to import. Radio management will ask you whether you wish to add the serial number, generate a configuration and apply the created configuration to that radio. Once imported, the code plug data will be added as a configuration and the radio itself will be added as an entry in the radio view table. You can also export the radio data to a standalone file. To do this, right button click on any radio, then select 
export and radio data. If you will be adding many radios at once, you can also import serial numbers from an Excel spreadsheet. To get an idea of how the spreadsheet must look, export the radio view table you see here to Excel and use that file as a template to add the rest of the serial numbers. In this case, you'll still need to read at least one radio to get its MVO and configuration. A link to the exported Excel file is in this video description.